Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't posted in a while, but that's because I had to take a break while I was working on a film that I was making a little short documentary. So I had to take a break from this, which I'm sorry about, but now I'm back doing my movie news again. So hopefully you guys didn't get too annoyed with me taking a few weeks off there. But okay, now we're back. And the first point of call is the Black Panther 2 trailer. Now, this just dropped yesterday, and it has completely blown my mind. Like, I am so excited about this film, and this trailer did the job for me, hands down. Of course, everyone was wondering what was it going to be like with Chadwick Boseman gone, and a few people were calling for them to recast Chadwick Boseman, and a few people were saying that they shouldn't out of respect. Now, this is where I sort of see it. I see it as Black Panther is a really important, integral part of the MCU, and I think that character needs to come back at some point. But once again, I do think it's a little too soon to recast. And if they want to keep it going in this world, then that Black Panther's gone. So I think maybe they'll do two, maybe three Black Panther movies. But after that, I don't think it'll work anymore without actually having Black Panther in the Black Panther films. But for this second movie, I see no problem in not having Black Panther. We're still going to feel his impact on the film, like for sure. Of course, his death is going to shock the whole world, the whole universe in the MCU. And we're going to feel that impact in this second movie. While we can't keep feeling that impact any longer, than maybe two, three, maybe four films. I think it'll cap at three. I do think it will work for this film and maybe the next. But the whole idea basically behind this film, which Ryan Coogler has come out and said, is that Wakanda is bigger than Black Panther. And he said, you know, it's not Black Panther forever. It's not Chadwick Boseman forever. It's Wakanda forever. And while that sort of makes sense, I do want to say that I think it's still a Black Panther movie. So I think you still need to have Black Panther in it. And if they are to bring these movies back five, ten years time, they'll need to recast Chadwick Boseman. Because like, it's kind of like saying, you know, it's New York is bigger than Spider-Man. Yes, but we get Spider-Man in the Spider-Man movies. You know what I mean? Like that's sort of how it works. America is bigger than Captain America. Yes, but we still have Captain America in the movies. I think we will need to recast Chadwick Boseman at some point, but it is too soon to recast him at this point. So with that aside, with all the talk about recasting, not recasting, with that aside, let's look at the movie in general. While this is the first trailer and it's not meant to give much plot away, it's not really meant to give away the story, but it's meant to give you a sort of overall vibe and a feeling for what's to come in this movie. And oh my God, I am so excited for this film. Like the way the music was layered in for this trailer, the cinematography just looked beautiful and the huge stakes you can already feel in them not even giving away the plot right? They haven't even given away the story, the plot, what it's really about, yet you can feel the weight of this movie. A large part of that is due to the music they use in the trailer, but still, there are performances in there that you can see are just intense, and you can really feel the impact and the weight that this film is carrying. Uh, the name is slipping past me. It's I'm sorry I forgot the name of the actress, but in her line where she goes, you know, I am the queen of the most powerful country in the world, and she's just screaming it in, like, the courtroom or something at, like, the UN, and she's yelling, like, like, you know, I've lost my my husband, my son, I've lost my whole family, have I not given enough, right? And she's just yelling that, and that literally sent shivers down my spine. Like, I am beyond excited for this movie. And even though it doesn't have Black Panther in it, I can see this being better than the first movie, which is crazy, because I think the first Black Panther movie is probably the second best Marvel movie ever but this could be the best. Like, it's going to be hard without Black Panther, but from what I can see from the trailer, I'm more excited for this one than I was for the first. And this has captured my attention like no other. It is an amazing trailer. And just purely off cinematography, the few lines we heard, and the weight we can feel from the, the trailer itself, I think this is going to be an amazing movie. And quite possibly the best Marvel movie ever made. I have no doubt about Ryan Coogler's directorial ability 
You know, like he made Fruitvale Station. He made the Creed films, the first Black Panther. He has a short film called Locks, which I think is amazing. Go check it out. He is an incredible director. He's never touched something and made it bad. He Everything he's touched has been exceptional. So I have full faith in him to make a great movie, but I did not expect it to be this good just from the what I've seen from the trailer. So I'm super excited about it. Let me know your thoughts about Black Panther 2. Do you think they should have recast Chadwick Boseman? Or are you excited for this movie coming up? Let me know in the comments. I'm super excited to get these videos back out there for you and grow this platform and this channel for movie fans again. So thank you guys for listening and I'll see you guys on my next video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.